Hey guys, San here, and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I just want to say sorry for the lack of content. My computer's been broken, so I've decided just to do everything through SharePlay for now. Uh, we'll be getting one shortly. Today, I'm just reviewing the new Paragon character, Narbash. And as you can see, in that little bit of footage, I was able to move up on two weak opponents, Gideon and Twin Blast, and use his ulti, which is a drum hammer and does a lot of area damage. I was able to get a quick kill and Howitzer was able to finish off Gideon. Now I find with Narbash, he's a really good character. He's very supportive. You can back your team up, make a move quicker. He's got mass health regen as one of his main abilities. He also has a hammer throw, or drumstick throw I should say, where it stuns the opponent. That's really handy for opponents that are trying to get away. And then you can use the speed up to catch him. As you'll see in this bit of footage, I noticed two weak characters over on our left lane. And I decided to move up and try and get a bit of pressure on them. Get a quick pick on Decker if I can, that's a poor character. A nice drumstick throw and then straight onto the ulti. So as you're down, that enables me to just one hitter and that's it. Sparrow moves into the backup and as you can see, Grux is out of there. Nalbash is one of those characters that you can play solo or you can push together in a lane but he's really good to be in every fight so if you're playing as Narbash, I suggest you move up and just enjoy supporting your teammates and getting that extra bit of damage in as you can see here by taking out Decker and Grux running away we're able to get the Power down, I mean it takes a while but we're only level 8, level 7 and level 8, but we're able to get a quick tower down early on in the game, putting a lot of pressure on the opponents. And I must mention the Howitzer in this game, he's a really good player. Me and him worked well together on many of the occasions. As you'll see in the next clip. You notice here I play around with Twin Blast for a bit. Just trying to keep his attention, seeing if any of my teammates will move up to help. Put a bit of pressure on him so he knows that I don't do much damage by myself. So he's not too afraid to push. He knows up knowing he's not gonna pressure me. Allowing him to push forward on my lane and Murdoch and how we can move up together. I'm able to give us a quick speed up to catch him. And as he falls down the jungle, I hit him with an ulti. And then how it finishes him off. It's a really easy kill with all three of us there. It's a nice way just to allow the enemy to push forward, sort of lure on them in, waiting for your teammates always using them comms letting them know where you are as you can see on this one I saw Grux under attack in our jungle so I thought I'd go help out because it's good to be in every battle as this character help him get the red buff and then I move back over to mid and I turn around and look for Howitzer. Howitzer's moving up mid as well. So we come right across mid. I noticed Twin Blast dropped down there. So I was able to spot him. And then put some damage into him. Then held him in place for Howitzer. And Howitzer come down and caused a lot of damage. Allowing us to get another quick and easy pick. At this moment we're only level 11, 12 in the game and we're a few kills ahead of the other team giving us that little bit extra card power 
allowing our builds to be stronger. Here I ran through the middle, trying to distract everyone and then noticed Crux was pushing on our tower. So I thought I'd come straight in, ulti, put a bit of damage into him because my main attack's not too strong. Hit him with a drum throw, drumstick throw I should say, and then finish him off real quick. Just a lovely play by Narbash, I really think they've done a good job with this character. The sort of character the game needed. I wouldn't say needed, but it's going to improve it a fair bit. Now here I notice my Howitzer is moving up by himself into their jungle, so I thought I'll go support him. Even though it's a risky spot to be. And they didn't... Richtor didn't see me, but Gideon did, so they're moving up, thinking it's just Howitzer. And I'll come out, miss my drumstick throw, but Howitzer gets the Dolphy off. And we're able to take out Richtor. And then Gideon... Looks like he's going to get away. I use my speed up, he tallies, and I'm able to hit him with a quick and accurate drumstick throw right there. It slows him down enough, now he doesn't have tally, and he's got the pressure of me now, which I want him Which is not good for him anyway. Now I noticed here my howitzer was low, so I put my drummer's rally on, enabling more health regen. You notice Twin Blast is low, hit him with another drumstick throw, and Howitzer finishes him off. I found in this match, me and Howitzer moved very well together. Two key players. Howitzer is a very good caster and has good range, and Narbash is very good up close and good for defending. One thing I also like is at the end of his tally, he hits his little symbol and teleports away. They've done a classy job on that one. Right, so in this one, there's a few of them pushed into our jungle. So I just went for a bit of an overwatch position. So I could see... Oh, sorry guys, it's 2am here, so I'm just filming this video. So I can see the positions everywhere down in the jungle waiting for my team to move in so I can surprise attack from the top now right here I notice that deck is just down there and twin blast moves up underneath me as howitzer pushes in the play is yet to come but it's coming there he is now twin blast is in so I'll move down put some pressure on twin blast Easy damage, ulti, easy kill. And I notice the rest of my team in a bit of trouble. Howitz is up there with Richter. So I figured I'll take out Decker, take his support away, weaken him a little. Hit Decker with a lovely drumstick throw and finishes her off. And he takes down Richter, but. Unfortunately, Gideon comes up to back him, but he still didn't manage to get away. Not for Murdoch and Howitzer. Oh. Murdoch and Howitzer. Sorry guys, I'm yawning a bit, I'm tired. I just want to get this up for everybody. Now Drux pushes up. I notice Howitzer is low, so I put my health regen on. And we just push the battle for a second, wait for Grux to push in. As he ultis, I hit him with a stun drumstick, sorry. Now I'm able to put pressure on them. Unfortunately, I get slowed by Gideon, which allows Grux to get a bit of ground, but Murdoch ultis wonderfully. Now Howitzer pushes in, putting some more pressure on Gideon. Gideon doesn't want to back out because Howitzer's low. I have our team to move up and Murdoch gets a quick easy kill. We've got Twin Blast on Overwatch over there. And Decker. And I think that's Victor running down the lane. Turn around, notice that Twin Blast is behind us, he ulted, so I hit him with a drumstick throw. Which 
takes him out of ulti, slows him down, and allows us for a quick easy kill once again. There's a few lovely players in this game. I just did the highlights of my kills, or the kills that I was involved in. Thought everyone would like to see Narbash and how he goes in a 1v1 fight, also a group mashup you could call it. He's a very good character for ganking because of his stun drumstick. Stops in place, as you'll see here, getting in ulties. And then I throw a drumstick straight at him, taking him out of his ulti. And allow him for hell with such a He's his ulti and take him down. Now deck is moving back. I speed up to get a shot. She slows me, but I hit her with a drumstick. Boom. Then down. Now it just saves me from Richter by bouncing him away with the mine. And that's just another lovely play by the team. Mind you, None of us were in a fire team, so it worked out very well. We're just using in-game comms to communicate with each other. And I'm pretty sure we had a greystone that was AFK 90% of the game. As you'll notice, there's only ever four of us. Now here I notice my howitzer's in trouble. So I move up as quick as I can. Ruck's getting full on him, so I stun Ruck. Howitzer ulti, and I also pop my ulti. Doing massive damage to Grux. Now Grux has nowhere to go. Tries to get away. Howitzer's on him. Now stun Gideon. And Gideon manages to teleport into his tower. Very lucky move. Could have been a quick double down, but Grux will do, as you know how pestering Grux can be. Here I ran through, grabbed the blue orb. Just wanted to try out the reduced cooldown and mana regen. Make that drumstick throw a bit more effective. I think having reduced cooldowns on that ability would just be amazing because you could just slow them and it does massive damage when it's fully upgraded. I think it's 375 or 425. It, it hits massive and stuns them in place for 0.9 of a second. So it slows them enough for you to get up in that drill a bit. As you can see I just wanted to show you this again. Such a lovely play by Narbash. Luckily how it's a saving and I didn't die. But that is exactly what you want to be, at, be doing with your Narbash. You want to be speeding up your team, you want to be stunning the enemy, especially out of any ulti like Gideon's, because that's powerful. And then you want to be using your health regen to bring your team back to life. Lovely game. Oh, well that's it for me. Everybody. I guess I will see you on the flip side. Take it easy and peace out.